Hey guys, welcome to my 34 week pregnancy update. My app says I have 38 days to go until my due date. Hopefully baby comes earlier than 38 days, but 38 days is the due date, so we are getting towards the end here, which is very exciting. Baby this week is the size of a cantaloupe. Cantaloupes are huge, so that's really impressive. They say the baby's about five pounds, so she might be a little bit under that, but around five pounds, so she's chunking up. What's new with baby this week? According to my app, it says that the fingernails have now grown fully out. Toenails are still growing until week 38. Baby is chunking up and baby now responds to sounds, light, and touch. And by next week, the ears will be fully formed. Really important things going on this week, which is surprising because you think towards the end, like all these things would already be set up, but just goes to show that babies really need like that as much time as they can get in the womb to fully develop everything that they need to. As for me, I'm doing okay. I'm still having a little bit of anxiety surrounding baby's movements. Half of last week and the beginning half of this week, it kind of seemed like her movements changed. I was still feeling her, but it definitely wasn't as often as in the past. And the movements were not as strong as they used to be. And so it gave me a lot of anxiety, wondering if she's okay but I didn't want to go in and get checked out for no reason because I'm still feeling her. So I have my doctor's appointment on Monday. Today is Thursday, and I'm definitely gonna bring that up with my doctor and just kind of see if that's normal. It, it's possible that she's like head down and like engaged. That's why the movements are changing. It's possible that she's so big that she's run out of space. And so that's why her movements aren't as big or as often, maybe she's getting more into REM sleep. I'm not really sure. The past two days or so, her movements have been a little more back to normal. Last night she was kicking like crazy, which she had not done <clears throat> for like half a week before that. So I don't know if it was just like a period of growth, of laziness, and now she's back to normal. I'm definitely feeling her more than I did, but it's still not quite as much as what in the like in the past couple months it has been. So not really sure what's going on there. It's definitely causing me anxiety though because I constantly am wondering like, when's the last time I felt her? Uh, is she like, and it's so hard to keep track because I'm busy doing things with my other kids. When was the last time I felt her? I can't remember and then I have to wait and like, oh, am I feeling her? Um, and I'll like wake up in the middle of the night to go to the bathroom and they'll be like, I'm not feeling her. So it's, yeah, it's just really messing with my mind right now. So I was gonna talk to my doctor about it. I never had this issue with my first two pregnancies. I was always nervous in the beginning, of course, because miscarriage is high, but towards the end now, like miscarriage is very, very low. It does happen, stillbirths happen, but I don't know why I'm all of a sudden so anxious at the end here. And it, like I said, it wasn't like that with my first two pregnancies. So I'm not really sure what's going on there. In terms of other symptoms, my heartburn has been getting worse and worse. I'm taking Tums all the time now, as expected. They help, but sometimes I have to take them um, more often than others. Definitely more towards the end of the day, but I've been taking them all throughout the day as well. A lot of gassiness, a lot of burping, that's been happening. My back really hasn't been hurting too bad. I still wear my belly band every night, uh, but I don't need it during the day, and it really doesn't hurt me, which is awesome. I feel Braxton Hicks. I get them several times a day, every day. It's not consistent, and so that's nothing to worry about, but I do feel them. They're like a tightening sensation. Sometimes they're a little uncomfortable. Not usually painful though. Still dealing with congestion in my nose and having to blow my nose every morning. Definitely dealing with that. I think I've gotten a cold from my kids 
and so I've been coughing a little bit more, but that's not been too bad. I do think my um, ankles are starting to swell a little bit. I've never really had foot swelling before in my previous two pregnancies, so this is kind of different, but I do notice it like when I'm changing and stuff and I look down at my ankles, they do look a little more swollen, which is kind of interesting. I'm thirsty all the time. I'm drinking a ton. I'm getting up usually two times a night now to pee. Used to be one, now it's up two times a night, and I pee all the time throughout the day. Headaches I really haven't been dealing with, which has been really nice. I'm running out of clothes to wear that bit my bump. I'm basically just having to stick to maternity shirts, otherwise it just looks really, really weird on me. And then night shirts, I've had to start to borrow Anthony's large shirts because my small definitely won't fit and even some of my medium shirts aren't starting to fit now. So yeah, it's, I'm running out of things to wear. Preparation for baby. I got out my suitcase to pack my hospital bag. I have not put anything in it yet. I mean, I'm only at 34 weeks, so I think I have time. But uh, I plan on starting to put things in there, early things such as a baby's going home outfit, um, maybe a couple outfits in there. I plan on putting uh, shampoo and conditioner in there. Last time I went to the hospital to have my second born, I totally forgot to bring shampoo and they did not have it at the hospital. They actually had to end up giving me like baby shampoo to use. So now I have to make sure I pack like a travel size bit. Uh, I have a robe that I wore last time in the hospital and it was so much comfier than the gowns that they give you. So I'm definitely planning on packing that. So just things like that. I could do a what's in my hospital bag. Maybe I'll do that once it gets closer. I've seen a lot of what's in my hospital bag videos and I'll just tell you, people overpack a ton for those things. You do not need to bring diapers. You do not need to bring wipes. You don't need to bring breast pad, breast anything. Most women, like their milk doesn't even come in until they get home from the hospital. If you need a breast pump, the hospital will have it. I do recommend bringing nipple balm and putting that on from the very start because if you don't, your nipples will hurt. I mean, they're gonna hurt anyway. I definitely plan on bringing my boppy, my nursing pillow. I did that last time and it was awesome. I'm gonna pack like a sound machine because we like to start that right off the bat to try to get baby used to days and nights. So just different things like that, but I have not packed it yet. Recently, we went to Disney World and walked around the park for a full day and I'm happy to say I survived. Obviously, I did not go into labor. I, my plan is to start walking as soon as the weather gets nicer consistently uh, to try to get baby in a position and different things like that. I definitely would love to go have baby earlier than my due date. So if I could have baby sometime in March, that would be great. <laughs> I'm still getting nauseous here and there, only in the evenings around dinner time. Sometimes it doesn't bug me and sometimes it does, so it just kind of depends. We still have not come up with a name for baby. We're still working on that, but we really need to figure it out. I really want to try to get everything done and ready by 36 weeks. So that's like two weeks, less than two weeks right now. Starting at 36 weeks is when my doctor will start doing cervical checks and membrane sweeps. And so I want to have everything as prepared as I can, just in case I go into labor early. So definitely in crunch mode. I still need to set up the bassinet, still need to buy some things off of Amazon. I do get the 15% completion um, rate now on Amazon, so I need to get some things for baby. Clothes were pretty much ready on, diapers were ready, wipes were ready, which is good. Need all of those things. Um, obviously got the car, I need a install the car seat, but I do have the car seats just in my basement. I did go and buy more pads 
thicker pads just because you bleed a ton after you give birth. And I had some pads, but they were a lot, they were pretty thin. So I wanted to make sure I got thick enough ones. So that's all good to go. I think um, that's about it for this week. Not too much new, except for just like being anxious about baby being okay. Uh, hopefully I'll have reassurance from my doctor when I go in a couple days. I'm really just tired of being pregnant. I'm so ready for this baby to be out and have my body back somewhat. Obviously not like breastfeeding, but just not having this huge mass in front of me. So I'm so over it, I'm so done. So I can't wait for these next couple weeks to just fly by and have baby here in my arms and not be stressed about how many times she's kicking me from the inside every day. Anyway, stay tuned for my next vlog because I will recap my doctor's appointment that I go to. I don't think it'll be too interesting, but we will see. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next video. So make sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.